Hey guys. What's up guys? Long time no see. Uh, for those of you who are just joining my channel, my name is Rachel. I am previously from my channel back in the day to day called Kiss and Makeup. View here. Okay guys, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is just kind of I left for a while just um i was kind of just rebooting my life and from rebooting my life it turned into six years away from youtube so i really hated that of course obviously youtube has always been a part of my life and a huge resource for me and here i am having had abandoned my youtube but always using youtube as a resource obviously um and i just wanted to come back and kind of do what my first love was which is beauty so i'm back and I, I don't think i'm gonna call my channel kiss and makeup anymore i think i just have to kind of catch my niche but i already have a small following and i just wanted to thank you guys if you are viewing this channel if you do remember me and you're seeing me on your timeline like dang she's alive i am still alive um but today i'm just gonna come and do a quick tutorial of this unit that i have in this unit that i have in is by pure bohemian you can just get it from the standard beauty supply store um i wanted to try to do half wigs and alternative you know hairstyles outside of just protective hairstyles something that was quick um that i can just kind of like put together and go and obviously because youtube is my resource i ended up finding out about half wigs which i had never really dove into before so if you want to see this unit how i installed it um i did actually obviously it's on my head so i did take it out of the box and do some trimming and cutting down and kind of just you know perfecting it to how i wanted it to look um, which is something I definitely can show you how I did it. This is a synthetic unit. It's a human hair blend, but I'm pretty sure I'm not the biggest weave kind of sore, but I'm pretty sure that that is synthetic still. You can only curl it to a certain um, temperature and things like that. So obviously you only want to curl your real hair to a certain temperature as well, but this has a pretty low setting. Human hair can usually take at least 400 and they said don't do anything to this for over, I think 350 degrees. So. You can kind of see i believe when i took the unit out of the box it was right around 26 inches so it's a very um long unit but i wanted to make sure that it looked almost identical to my real hair i didn't want you know people trying to figure out if it was my real hair because i'm trying to make this a real thing so if you want to see how i install this unit stay tuned okay so the first thing that i wanted to do was just start out with my natural hair and kind of figure out what I wanted to do with it. I did get a couple of different um, half wigs and headband wigs, so I really wanted to kind of leave my options open when I put this wig on, but I do plan on wearing it to work tomorrow, so I just wanted to also kind of find the best and secure way for me to wear it. So I ultimately decided that I just wanted to put it in a ponytail and kind of do like a double twist and just pin it up that way it would be able to be protected under my wig cap and I'd be able to kind of take it down easily later if I wanted to switch my wig or if I wanted to just wear my natural hair. So after I twisted my hair up, you can see I put it in two double twists. I just went ahead and put on my wig cap, making sure that my baby hairs and my edges were kind of out of the cap, re-perfecting them. I had already had on the wig earlier, remember I told you I cut it, so um, they were kind of already laid, you know what I'm saying? So this is the unit. I got it from the beauty supply store for $29.99. Um, remember that it is a synthetic but human blend hair wig. And um, I think it's called, oh, it's called Bohemian Pure. And it, this unit specifically is called the Detroit. At this point, I just secured the combs in the front. Um, I do believe that I'm gonna start to wear like a wig grip as opposed to using the combs all the time but after that i pulled it down in the back secured the comb in the back and you can see that it's actually a really pretty unit um, just by itself i got a couple of different headbands i actually ordered some from amazon 
because I really wanted to try a couple of different ones just to see how it looked, see how it laid, and I really wanted it to lay as flat as it could, but this was kind of the vibe I was going for, the leopard print. And you can see I'm just going to slide it directly over the um, front line of the wig, kind of like on top, but in between my natural edges and the wig itself. And look at how seamless that blends. All right, guys, that's it. So you can easily go in and change your headband, you know, based on whatever is catching your vibe for the day. Uh, this was my first time really seeing how it looked and everything, so I just went ahead and added this headband. And if you guys are thinking about using half wigs or headband wigs, that you obviously add some versatility. So I got this bag of headbands from Amazon. It was $13 and it came with, I wanna say 20 headbands. And there's all different kinds, you know, there's kinds to match every color that you could possibly want to wear. Um, and then I also picked up some curly ones that I will be probably doing sometime this week. So I got this big stupid headband that, you know, everybody's been wearing lately. I have no idea. I just feel like I look like the Statue of Liberty, but I'm gonna figure it out because I like that color. But um, for an everyday look, this is probably what I'll go for. And then I'll get other wigs or headband wigs that kind of complement this hair texture so that I can kind of continue the consistency of it looking like my hair. Aside from that, I'm going to also, because I'm new, I'm going to also get a wig grip or something so I can protect my edges because I can already feel this kind of pulling. It's not that tight, but it pulls a little bit and I want to avoid that. So I will probably get, um, actually I did already order a wig grip, it's coming in the mail. And I also ordered a few more headband wigs, so I'll probably be kind of featuring a few for the next couple of weeks. But again, I really, really like this one and um, it's got my stamp of approval.